Hello there, it is Gan Journeyman here. Thank you so much for taking the time to check out another video. In this video, what I want to do is share with you how to create your own stencils in Go Charting. It's really cool that Go Charting has this uh, option available to you. I don't know if you've tried out this um, application or not, this charting platform, but I highly recommend it. I'll leave a link to it below uh, in the description. But basically, you would just come in here and select an image. Let's find you. Where's the image? There we are. Images. So under shapes and text images. And you would align it and then drop it in. I've already started playing and added uh, one of my stencils in. But I'm going to show you how to create your own. So what I want to do is use this on my chart. Now, usually if you just would you know, paste this in. We would have a big old white square. You couldn't see nothing behind it. So our goal is to get rid of all this white space. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. What we're looking to create is a PNG file, which is transparent, which removes the background. And by doing that, I go to a website, lunapic.com. It's free to use. Uh, there's, it's really simple, it's really simple to use. So here we go. I just uploaded what I wanted to, to clean up and remove the background on. And you'll notice here at the top, it says transparent. Click on that. And it almost like it, <laughs> it knows what I want. So if you want to, you can, you know, adjust this some more. The more you move it this way, obviously the more transparent it's going to get. I'm throwing air quotes because eventually it'll start to erode the quality around. But basically it's just, at this point, just trying to remove the white around this area. If you have something a little bit more complicated, uh, like this was you may have to click in and select instead of a an area a color You would select that color and then it would remove it and uh, start to get it out of the picture But from what I see here, I I like I like what it looks like if you want to you know Contrast it and look so you can still see there's still some white here Let's see if I move it here. You can see how it starts to adjust the quality a little bit some of that whites getting removed crank it at 22 why not because today's the 22nd the focus will look a little funny whenever we do it uh, 28 I don't want to go too much because I'm going to remove all my all my stuff so that's black background and this will be transparent so this is what's going to show up on the chart which I'm down with that's cool hit apply it's now set and you, if you need to go back and change something, you always undo it or just go back to the very, very beginning of the web page, upload it again and start over if, if it gets too confusing. That's always an option. So just click on save to say where do you want to save it. Uh, do square root. And I'll throw it on the desktop. Save. All right, cool. So now that that's done, it's pretty easy peasy, right? We got our image laid there. Let's go in and select what to load. There we go. That's not it. <laughs> Let's try this again. There it is. Aha. So this will look much better in a white background. There we go. Just keep that in mind as you're uh, working with those stencils. So basically now if I wanted to, I can come in and square this up and uh, you know make it work for my chart however I want to, to align it. But one thing you need to keep in mind is that the edges of your photo or your your image file, your PNG file is way out here. So if you don't crop it back down and kind of bring it into, into you know, really tight around your, your image, this right here, if we go any further this way, it's gonna jack up the image and I'm gonna show you. So you see there at the very bottom, that date that's kind of scrolling there and then it disappears. If I were to move this here, it's gonna shoot my, my image to the right because it must be on the edge of the canvas for with go charting. That's the only limitation. You can't go too far to the left. You can't go too far to the right. If you don't see a date here at the bottom, 
then your image is not going to stay where you have it set. Kind of interesting, huh? I'll post this one in the Discord channel for all the members so they can use it too. But that's how you create a stencil on Go Charting. I mean, it's really straightforward, but now you can go find all the images you want, clean them up, and make some really cool charts. So I hope you found this helpful and informative, and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Enjoy.